Good morning. My name is Brianna Pitt. And I'm here to give you guys a little bit of information about the things you don't hear when it comes to getting a breast augmentation. I recently had surgery for my breast augmentation on May 3rd with New Life Plastic Surgery in Miami, Florida. And I am on day, I believe it's day three. Well, technically I'll say, but yeah, day three of my post-op. And this shit is different. It definitely is different. Um, for the first two days, my feet were burning like crazy. I do recommend you sit up at a 45 degree angle. If it, if, for me, it feels more comfortable to sit up at a 45 degree angle. I'm not really able to lay down anyway, so it doesn't matter. I have swelling in my sternum. Let me show you guys a little bit. Sorry. Yes, I'm still in a little pain. I have. Well, I haven't bled since the day of surgery, so that's good. But it's a little insight. I have swelling in my like I have bruising in my sternum. I have bruising under my arms and bruising on my top area. I haven't really suffered any shortness of breath that much. It hasn't been too bad. But I've also put myself on a fruit, vegetable, antioxidant, and water regimen until I heal. Um, weird part is though, for some reason, my pelvic is swollen. I think it has something to do with the antibiotics and the anesthesia and the fluids that are circulating through my body. Hopefully that will go down soon. Other than that, I walk maybe every three hours for a good 20, 30 minutes. I just walk. But ultimately, this is a very, very hard process for me. This is my first surgery. I've never had surgery before. Mm. And for the women who are considering getting a breast augmentation, please do your research. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with mine, but if I knew things I was going through, or if I knew the experiences I was gonna have, I don't regret it, definitely don't regret it. I'm not saying that. I feel like I've been better prepared. More so. Um, you gotta sit with your bottom a lot. My bottom is numb. Cause you're just like, majority of the time if you're just sitting or you're walking, but you have to rest when it comes to a situation like this. Um, and yeah, I, so far, it's been a trialing situation, but I feel as well as I can share some information with you guys Ooh, that I didn't know before I got the surgery, it will help somebody else out in the future. So, like I said, today is day three of my post-op, of my healing process. I'm not going to show y'all the entire thing. I'm going to show y'all just a little bit. And then, like, you know, my marking imprint still hasn't gone away yet. But ultimately, after seven days, I'll be able to massage this down. But, yes, yeah, so this is definitely a process. I've been super nervous. I've had a little bit of anxiety. Make sure you take your pain medication because you're going to need it. But like, I've read that abdominal swelling is normal. I really haven't read that much about pelvic swelling, but I think it has something to do, like I said, with the fluids that are going through my body, with me um, winging myself off the anesthesia, and then also taking the antibiotics. Ooh, so. I don't know. Anybody have any questions or concerns or just, you know, want to reach out to me with your experience of your breast augmentation or your surgery in general, please do so. 
but this is my journey and thanks for watching guys